Hello, I'm Christopher Kenworthy and welcome to Expert Masking in After Effects. I'm going to start by showing you how to use the pen tool to cut out a part of this image. The idea here is that this distant doorway looks a little too bright. It would be more interesting if it were mysterious, like this doorway on the left, if it was darkly lit. So the way to do that is to make two copies of the clip. One will be dark, one will be light. And then we use masking to cut a hole in this top layer. We're going to start by drawing straight lines. This will show you how to use the pen tool, how to use mask points, and it'll really demystify the process. I'm just going to click on the corridor movie here in the timeline and go to Edit Duplicate. And then I'm going to label the lower one background so we know which is which. I'm just going to turn the background off by hitting the eye icon there and then reselect the corridor layer. It's very important when you're drawing masks that you do have a layer selected. I'll just show you what happens if you don't. Click on the pen tool there. We've got no layer selected. And if I start drawing a mask, what I actually draw is a shape. And that's the last thing we want. You can see here the shape has appeared in the timeline. So we'll just get rid of that. Make sure we click on the layer. And then when we begin masking, the mask will appear on that layer. So up here is where you select the pen tool. The shortcut is G. You'll notice when you click on this that there are several other versions of this, other things you can do, but for now just make sure you've got the basic pen tool selected. And we want to draw a line around the dark space in here to make it darker. To do that we can just click simple points like this, click the first point there, the next point there, click over here, then here, up here, and across and there we've created a mask. Now that's all very well but you might have noticed it's quite difficult to see what you're doing so zooming in is quite important. I'm just going to hit M and that brings up the mask down here and I'm going to click on that and delete it. So we'll do this again but zoomed in and to zoom in you just hit the period on your keyboard. You can see there I've zoomed in You'll then also want to move this around so you can see where you're working. I want to start up here, so this is no good. Hit H on the keyboard and that gives you the hand tool. So you can pull down to exactly where you want. This is a very useful way to work. It's worth zooming in even more so you can be really accurate. I'm going to hit G again to bring up that pen tool. And now you can see this is a very accurate way of seeing what I'm doing. So I'll click there, that's my first point. Now I want to get down here, so how do I toggle to the hand tool? I just hit H, push that up, and when I let go of H, I go straight back to the pen tool. So I don't have to keep going up here and selecting tools, it'll just toggle backwards and forwards for me. Click the next point there. Now you can see here, I can be a little more accurate than I was before. I can click once there, once there, and one's there. And that means that I'm drawing a very accurate outline of this reddish area inside the room. Click up to the edge of the door. Now I'm going to hit H again on the keyboard so I can see where I'm going. Now here I have the option of drawing the mask around that door handle if I want, but what you'll find with masking is you can often get away with shortcuts. So I'm going to try that right now and just go to the top of the door, click there, go over here, and then there. So I'll zoom out now by hitting the comma. If ever you're unhappy with how it's zooming out or if you're finding you having to zoom out and reposition like this, you can just come down to this drop down here and go fit up to 100% and it'll fit in the screen nicely. So there we've drawn a mask around the area that we want to cut out, but in actual fact, it's cut out the rest of the image. So we need to invert this mask. In the timeline, next to where it says Mask 1, you'll see there's a box that says Inverted. Just check that, and there you go. Our mask is now inverted and is cutting out that area of the image. All we have to do now is select the lower layer, switch on the eye icon, and that will show through. Now, it looks like nothing's happened because we've not done anything to this background layer. 
So let's apply a filter to that. So I'm going to go over to the effects and presets and set levels and drop that on the background layer. And then I'm just going to drag this middle slider here to the right and that darkens that background layer. So if I switch that effect on and off, you can see that's what we started with and that's what we end up with. Now, as you're drawing your mask, you may find you make small mistakes and you'll want to move the mask point. So I'll show you how to do that. Just delete the mask and start again. So with my pen tool selected, click the first point. Now imagine I go down here and I click and I get it just wrong. It's not where I want it to be. All I have to do is make sure I'm hovering over that point. And can you see how it doesn't look like the pen tool anymore? There it's the pen tool. When it's over that point, it's an arrow. So I can then just click that point, move it exactly where I want and carry on. So this is really useful if you make mistakes as you're going along. You just come back, grab the last point, move it into place. You can also do this after you've drawn your mask. I'll just zoom in here so you can see exactly what happens to the pen tool when I go over that final mask point. You can see a little circle appears next to it. That means I'm about to complete the mask. So there we go, that mask is complete. I'm going to leave the background layer switched on so you can see more easily. If I turn it off, the points become quite difficult to see. So let's just imagine that I want to move this point over here. I'm going to zoom in just a little more. Make sure you choose the selection tool. Then just hover over your point, click on it, and you can move it wherever you want. Just drag it, slide it. That's a really good way to reposition a point. You can see here, this one's not quite right. Just pick it up, move it into place. So if I wanted to move more than one point, I could shift click them. So I'll just click on one point there, shift click on the next one, and I've got those two points both at the same time. That's not something I need to do here, but you'll find you need to do that very often. If you want to select all the points, you just hit Alt or Option and click on any one and you can move the, the whole mask like that. Again, you're not going to need that right now, but it's just something useful to know for later. I'll revise all this each time you need it. But for now, you can see how to draw a mask and reveal the layer underneath.